there any opening day for you that sticks out in the many years you played in the NBA? One opening game, and I, and I don't remember who we played, but I know it was with Allen Iverson. And AI and I had meetings before the season, and we were talking about just how much we wanted to win. We knew we were coming up on the end of our careers, and or I remember never entering a preseason with so much hope because I knew that he was in, I knew that I was in, and we knew that, that we both wanted it so bad. So I think we both scored 30 or did something crazy like that. I don't, I don't remember, but coming out uh, with him that preseason was so special because uh, I knew we were going to set the tone for how our team was going to play, and, and, and we were engaged that year. So the net starting five. Dinwiddie runs the point with Lavert flanking him. Wilson Chandler out there with DeAndre Jordan. And it's Harris in at the three slot. And for the Lakers. At the two and the three, it's Bradley and Green. JaVale McGee is out there with Davis. And it's James in at the point guard position. Dinwiddie wide open. Drills it from outside. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. Yeah, it's all about establishing a rhythm. I mean, you start to see it fall, you, you begin to believe. Green against Harris. Here's Davis. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. If there's a list of the best inside scorers in the NBA, Davis has got to be right at the top. When he gets his hands on the ball down low, you might as well just count it. LeBron against Dinwiddie. Passes it to Chandler. Here's Levert. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots over Bradley. And it's Levert missing. Now with the D playing soft off him, he might have been better off taking it to the hoop instead of settling for the jump. Dinwiddie up top. James covering. Outside Jordan. Shoots over McGee. Jordan can't get it to go. And the cold start gets a little colder. Just one for four to start the game. James, the pass to Davis. Shoots over Levert. And Davis with the basket on the assist by James. Davis has got his second bucket of the night. Dinwiddie dishes to Harris. Now the pass to Jordan. And it's JaVale McGee with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Lobs it up for Jordan. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. How about the vertical of Jordan easily rising up for the timely alley-oop slam? And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Chandler with the steal. Harris outside. Chandler outside. Cloak loose. Stolen by McGee. Here's Green. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. An elite passer in his position. I mean, James always seems to make the right decision. Levert finds Dinwiddie. Knocked loose in the corner. It's Harris. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And he might not be a household name just yet, but Joe Harris is one of the game's true dead-eye marksmen. You can make the case he's the most underrated shooter in the league. First free throw is good. Maybe not the most famous beard in the league, but Joe Harris's beard last year, Greg, drawing some notice in the NBA. The lumberjack look belying his feathery touch. Good size and strength, enabling him to play the small four position when needed. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. They trail by one. 
side. We're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Green with the ball. Shot clock at five. Bradley finds Davis. They kick it out to Green. There's the triple. It's hauled in by DeAndre Jordan. For Brooklyn, they've gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Dinwiddie passes to Harris. Outside Jordan. Here's Levert. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Bradley dishes to Davis. Back to Bradley. Balls knocked loose from past the arc. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Oh, man, he uses quickness, athleticism to find that space to shoot. Bradley's got a nice touch from the perimeter. Dinwiddie against LeBron. Dinwiddie kicks to Harris. Here's Dinwiddie. 24-point outing in their last game against Chicago. And they kept fouling him. I mean, it only made him more aggressive. He wound up having a huge night at the free throw line. From deep, James. And that's collected by DeAndre Jordan. Brooklyn trailing. Dinwiddie passes to Harris. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Lakers have gone 4 of 7 from the field, shooting over 50%. And Bradley gets it to go. He's finding some good shots early on. And what you like about it, he's not trying to do too much. Dinwiddie is surveying the floor. Drills the three-pointer. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Harris against James. And the GOAT conversation. LeBron has said his motivation is to surpass Michael Jordan as the greatest of all time. Gray, what do you think he needs to do to bolster his case? I think for the naysayers, the obvious answer is more rings. You look at the other numbers, including those eight consecutive finals appearances, LeBron is in the discussion. Shooting two. Free throw good, James. A championship standard in L.A. with the Lakers. The expectations will always be high. Oh, yeah, Jay, you've been there with me. I mean, we both look up in the Raptors and seen those 16 championship banners up there. I mean, with LeBron James in the fold, the expectation is to get to 17, 18, 19. And the bright lights of L.A., perhaps too much for some players. But you know what, Greg? <laughs> Not for LeBron James. This guy thrives in the spotlight. The Lakers crafting a roster to satisfy his championship ambitions. Off the court, the City of Angels perfect for maximizing his business aspirations. He's so aggressive at that end of the floor. And that's a quality all great scores have. Bradley finds James. And here is Green. Some nice passing here by Los Angeles. Now here is McGee. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And James with the basket on the assist by McGee. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Oh, you know what it is, Greg. One play at a time. That's got to be the mindset, especially in such a tight game. And the first time out called of the game for Brooklyn. Chris, you have been passionate about honoring those who blazed the trail for today's NBA, like the Globetrotters and the Wrens in the days before integration. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you think about what, what they've gone through off the court and on the court, and, and anyone, and regardless of color, nationality, and just paving the way for uh, for me as a basketball player, I, I want to say thank you. Let's just think about what Red Arbeck did, uh, drafting the first African-American player, making uh, the first African-American player coach, uh, and, and Bill Russell, who won the championship that year, and leaving him uh, a good team. And if you look at organizations like the Black Fives who bring an awareness to the games, and, and you just want to understand your legacy uh, culturally and that's why I have to every time I see Mr. Bill Russell Big O or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar I give them a big hug and a, and, and a wet kiss on the cheek because uh, I just thank them for not only advancing
between uh, the movement in sports, but culturally, uh, uh, sports has always uh, sent a message uh, to the culture and society about how cool teammates work together and how you can overcome a problem uh, by working together. And so I really thank them for enduring uh, all of the hardships that they did so that we can uh, reap the benefits. So it, it's been awesome to be part of the league and be able to shake hands with those that have blazed trails for us. That is so admirable on your part. Looking at Los Angeles, they took the win in their last game against the Clippers. Bradley kicks to McGee. Great D that time from Jordan. Nets trail by three. And here's Harris from the arc. Green with the rebound. Pulls it up. And again, no good by the Lakers. Brooklyn's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Got a piece of it. Dinwiddie passes to Chandler. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That's his first foul. And some changes here for the Lakers. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for JaVale McGee. Caldwell Pope comes in for Danny Green. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for LeBron. And the Nets making a change here as well. Prince is checked in. Pass to Luau. Lock at six. Here's Harris. Knocked away. Jordan against Davis. Jordan kicks to Dinwiddie. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Lakers leading by three. Loads it up for Davis. Harris looking it over. Pass to Jordan. They need this one. And this spot has always been Jordan's biggest drawback. Uh, he's never been able to make his free throws at, at even a modest rate. And teams are never afraid to put him on the line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And not really great numbers for him at the line. But really not terrible either. Right around 70%. throw good Jordan and so he hits both The Lakers have gone 6 of 13 from the field, just under the 50% mark. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. You know, that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. Here is the 2K leaderboard with the list of last season's top three-point shooters. To take a look at Harris, he's absolutely deadly from outside. And, of course, Danny Green. He's another player that shoots it extremely well from outside. What shooting we saw from them all season. I mean, I'd love to see these guys in a game of course. They'd probably be draining shots from midcourt. And Luau Cabarro is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And the Lakers making a change here. James has checked in. It's Davis on the wing, defended by Allen. Davis, the pass to Caldwell Pope. Shoots over Levert. And again, the Lakers, no good. And here's Chioza. He'll bring it up for the Nets. They trail by one. Passes to Allen. Levert against Caldwell Pope. Just five on the clock. They now take the lead. And the Nets lead by one. A lot of give and take between these sides early. Yeah, and both teams look like they came to play. We should have a good one. And it's sent back by Allen. 
Caldwell Pope against LaVert. Prince in the corner. Allen trying to break free. Prince's shot is good. And now a four-point Nets lead. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make them pay. Hits it from three-point range. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Talk about it. the great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. That's not who they want guarding him. I mean, the size mismatch is just too big. All he has to do is just keep attacking the rim. The Nets have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. Player rejections in uh, the playoffs last year. In fact, the highest in three decades. Seems like tensions, as with the officials, are still escalating. Well, yeah, uh, the relationship between the players and the referees, uh, you know, it's always an ongoing process. And, and it's definitely getting better. But last year we had the uh, highest number of new referees uh, in the history of the NBA. And so you're going to have a growing pains when you have younger guys and, and understanding the culture of the league. But I like the way that we're going. And uh, some of those rejections were warranted. Some of them weren't. I just look at that year as, ah, uh, that just happened. Let's see what happens. I'm not going to hold players and referees accountable to last season. I think we need a little bit more context before uh, we make a decision on player ejections and flagrants and things like that. Just a little more research. Now Levert. And he really did play well against Chicago in that last game. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Here's Davis. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And the trade for Anthony Davis, a risk for the Lakers, but they feel, Greg, that both sides will find an extension this offseason. There is mutual interest from both sides. Lakers made the trade confident Davis would resign. A bit of a leap of faith, but the Lakers did everything they could to secure Davis long term. First free throw is good. And guys, at this point in his career, Anthony Davis just entering his prime. Crazy to think when you look at what he's already accomplished thus far. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. Oh, he's never rattled at the strike. Always has that nice soft touch on his free throws. Six second difference between shot and game clock. And the pass to Levert. It's deflected. An average shot blocker. I mean, you want Kuzma to use his vertical more to redirect shots. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Fires the three. No good on the last second attempt there. Will return shortly. At one time, a poor free throw shooter. DeAndre Jordan has really improved this part of his game, and he was asked back when he was struggling if he had ever considered shooting them underhand, like some have in the past. I haven't. I've never tried it. I've never secretly tried it in practice or anything like that. I think I'm going to try to shoot it regular for a while, and uh, if that's my last resort, then, then so be it. 
You know, he's made some progress with his method, though. Yeah, him, Drummond, Capella, a lot of the guys who were getting the hack-a-shack treatment have made great strides. And as we return, it's Noche Latina celebrating the NBA's connection to the Latin American community. And uh, from Brooklyn, guys, what jumps out to you, Stan Watts? Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Yeah, it's a gambling style that pays off, G.A., keeping things in disarray for that offense. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. And Brooklyn, look at who they've got. You've got Prince. He's out there with Allen. Lavert out there with Luwawu. And it's Chioza in at the one. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Kenny Atkinson, a who's a, a native break. of Long Island, now has his dream job, coaching the Brooklyn Nets. He doesn't need praise or recognition. Instead, he's fueled by the fear of failure. He says, I always feel like I'm one banana peel away from never being in the NBA again. And Kevin, he's got his team playing with that same determination. David, he sure does. Thank you very much. Los Angeles making a switch here. Howard's checked in. That one drops. He ties it up. Oh, he's such a good free throw shooter. I mean, it frees him up to be as aggressive as he wants in the post. Chioza passes to Levert. Now Prince. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. And Davis sends it back. He's got that huge wingspan, and boy, does he use it well on the defensive end. If Davis is within shouting distance of the shooter, there's a good chance he'll get a hand on it. Here's Luwawu. Cans it from downtown. Luwawu's got eight. You cannot leave him alone like that, especially from long range. Pass to Davis. And out of bounds as Brooklyn gains possession. Taking a look here at the numbers for Allen. Last year, getting it done. Eighth in field goal percentage and a top 15 ranking in blocks per game. Supplying that backline protection that is so key to a great defense. And you know, back to his tremendous efficiency shooting last season, top 10 in the league, his dead-eye shooting creates so many opportunities for that offense. Count that one, and the Nets lead has been cut to just one in the basket from Rondo. Yeah, and Rondo is a rugged defender, outstanding at reading the opposition there and then coming up with the steal. Pass to Levert. Let's a floater go. Free tee that time from Davis. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. And it's slammed in by Howard. Uh, this is the chemistry Howard has with this guy. He's fantastic at realizing when to go for alley -oop. Passes it to Levert. Fires from deep. Buries it from three-point range. 11 points in the game. And they're right around 50% for the game on their threes. And they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. Outside Rondo. Kuzma outside. Just four to shoot. Davis. That shot misses. And Brooklyn will come the other way. And here's Levert. 11 points in the game. Launches a three. Dwight Howard pulls it in. Lakers have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Back to Kuzma. For three, Caldwell Pope. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. And Caldwell Pope can be a volume three-point shooter, meaning when he gets a lot of attempts from there, he can fill it up from downtown. Allen outside. Levert against Caldwell Pope. Here's Lou Love. Eight points for him. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. That's good from Howard on the assist by Kuzma. 
Kuzma's got his third assist on the night. Oh, it's going to take more than that to stop Howard. He's excellent at fighting off the defense. And it's Prince penetrating. And a four-year player at Baylor, Torian Prince, something of a surprise. Why do we pick back in 2016? But, Greg, he's become a very valuable player. You know, he, he's one of those two-way power wings that, that, that it seems every team wants. A, a dependable three-point marksman who holds his own defensively. one is off you played for a lot of different coaches in your career Chris I'm sure you saw characteristics that you like in a head coach with all the different people you played for yeah uh, definitely uh, you definitely want coaches that challenge you that, that want to make you better um, that helps with the team chemistry but but I would say number one you want a coach that understands they are such a good coach that their job is to infuse you with as much information during practice and then come game time, they trust you to go out and do your thing. They don't micromanage during the big games. They say, wait a minute, we put in enough practice time, you know what we should do, now go out there and execute. The ones that trust you, you gotta love. Right. It's Allen on the wing. And there's the pass to Luau. from 14 a rebound by the Lakers that's tipped and it's out of bounds the Lakers able to retain possession here let's use this break for a quick look at the squads that really made it happen on the fast break last season the Lakers second I mean it's a crowd pleasing style right I mean this club just got out and ran at every possible chance Howard finds Green. James with it. Guarded now by Prince. Caldwell Pope outside. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. James has got six assists here tonight. And they're not afraid to let it fly from deep. They're looking to extend their lead with the three ball here in the second quarter. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Trying to find some answers offensively. Some bad shot selection as well as some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points. Spencer Dinwiddie's checked in for Brooklyn. Here's Allen. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Dinwiddie passes to Levert. To end the run. Buries the long-range jumper. His three-point game is heating up. That's his second three of the quarter. Third overall. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. James against Dinwiddie. Come to me, come to me. Howard with the steal. Caldwell Pope outside. Outside Green. Pass to James. Now here is Howard. Five on the clock, and the Lakers turn it over again. And that's a gift if I've ever seen that they've got to communicate much better out there. And the Lakers with some changes. Davis has checked in for Kyle Kuzma. And Bradley subbed in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. Dinwiddie with it. Pass to Levert. Fires for three. And Davis pulls it down. Loads it up for Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. Oh, nice look by Bradley. Moving it to the open man. Nets trail by five. Pass to Allen. Dinwiddie against LeBron. Dinwiddie. Back to Allen. The Nets need to get a shot off here. Got a piece of it. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. All right. 
had a chance to look at the stats for Anthony Davis. He's coming off an excellent season, putting up about 26 points per, 12 rebounds, and almost two and a half blocks. And he's such a presence for them inside. Uh, no questions. He blocks shots, controls the glass, does everything asked of him, and more. Outside, Green, the pass to Davis. Kicks it out to James. Pass to Bradley. On deep. Poked away, but they recover it. And for the ball out of bounds, Davis touched it last. So for the Nets, DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Allen. Chandler comes in for Torian Prince. And Joe Harris is subbed in for Karis LeVert. And the Nets with possession here. Now here is Harris. A 23-point game for him in the win against Chicago. Back to Dinwiddie. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by Howard. Howard's got four rebounds in this game. Bradley kicks to LeBron. Shot clock at six. Howard finds James, and they double up James. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here, and it's Davis missing. He hit one three in the first, but the well has been totally dry for him in the second. Here's Lou Wobble. He's got eight. And the Nets miss again. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. Bradley dishes to James. Pass to Howard. Bradley, that's for two. And the Lakers with another miss. Last outing for the Nets. They won that game against the Chicago Bulls. It's stolen by Green. To the middle. Here's Davis. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. It goes on Spencer Dinwiddie. For Los Angeles, they have hit most of their free throws tonight. Five of six. And looking at last season's numbers, down below 70% as a team from the line. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Markeith Morris has checked in for Howard. Ajan Rondo the subbed in for James. Kyrus LeVert's checked in for Brooklyn. And that one falls for Anthony Davis. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Timeout called the Nets. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that four rotations. I mean, slow help and just not enough toughness on the interior. They've got a lot to talk about. Jordan, the pass to Chandler. Dinwiddie against Ronda. Dinwiddie kicks to Chandler. Six on the shot clock. Harris dishes to Jordan. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. And the Lakers have possession. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. Morris looking over the floor. Chandler with the steal. Now Lavert, 14 points for him. Passes it to Dinwiddie. Can they get it? And down it goes, jamming that one home. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. Yeah, going defense to offense in an instant. Every team now calibrated to do that. And it's blocked by Jordan. Here is outside. 
to the inside. LaVert fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, and that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. And the free throw drops for Levert. So it's the Lakers now. Three-point lead. Rondo looking around. Bradley against Levert. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Hey Greg, when you evaluate Avery Bradley, the offense isn't what it once was. But the defense is certainly still there. Yeah, Bradley has struggled with the scoring in, in recent years, but defense, that does not go cold. Still a menace to ball handlers, and his reach and length can suffocate perimeter players. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Avery Bradley. I mean, and that 6'3 Bradley is a plus defender thanks to his quickness and tenacity. He doesn't get the second one. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for the Nets. There's the pass to Levert. Back to Dinwiddie. Five to shoot. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. And it's six points for Spencer Dinwiddie. Rondo passes to Davis. Back to Rondo. Pass to Kuzma. Up top, Morris. He's guarded by Chandler. And there's the call on Chandler. That is his first foul of the game. James checked in for Rajon Rondo. One twenty-nine left to play here in the second quarter. Here's Davis. Four on the shot clock. Goes up from the top of the key. Bradley can't get it to go. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. Lavert the pass to Dinwiddie. Harris outside. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. It's Bradley on the wing. Dinwiddie covering. A fadeaway and good as it just snugs right down through the net. Even with the D giving him a lot of attention, he's still finding ways to light him up. Pass to Levert. Let's the three fly. No good that time. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Here's Kuzma. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. Now it's a five-point Los Angeles lead. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Bradley against Levert. Beyond the arc. Nailed from three-point land. Levert's got 22. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for Los Angeles. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot. KCP, a great first half of play with the scoring. What did you see from them defensively that allowed you to be effective? Um, I just took what they gave me. I took what they gave me, and I just knocked them down. Hey, KCP, thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime.
It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. It was a big time first quarter from Anthony Davis. He had 18 points, two block shots, and seven rebounds. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, I like the effort on the boards because a game could come down to just a few key possessions and extra rebounds can give you those extra possessions if you work at it. And over to the big fella, your thoughts on the Nets. Well, they had a strong perimeter game. See, Ernie, when this team executes from long range, those weapons spread out of defense. Coming out of the second half, if those shooters are hot, they got a great chance to take control of this game. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. One of the stories here, guys, Karis LeVert getting it done today. Yeah, he's just been raining down on them from deep here. You talk about dialed in. Oh, man, what a tremendous first half. Okay, obviously he's feeling the flow, and he's looking to keep it going. Green and Davis in at the forward position. Ron and Bradley are the guard. And it's McGee in at the center. That's the Laker five their third three-pointer in a row. And here is LeBron. Floats it up for James. An emphatic LU jam. Oh, you love seeing James soar like an eagle. He's exceptional at rising up quickly for the alley -oop. Passes it to LeBert. Tipped away. Jordan against McGee. Jordan, the pass to Levert. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. And stolen by LeBron. Down low. And it's Davis finishing it off. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. Oh, exactly right. Momentum shifting plays like that can change the tone of a game. Shot is good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut down to just one on the basket from Harris. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. All right, it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses, that doesn't constitute defense. They get a hand on it. The pass to Brent. And here we go. Brooklyn fast break. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. And no good. The Nets go the other way with it. Harris outside. Pass to Jordan. Lost contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And the shooting percentage Jordan records from here is insane. If you get him the ball in a good spot, he usually finishes. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. Good shot. Free throw good, Jordan. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Bradley with the bounce pass. And the call will be against Karis LeVert. That's his first foul. McGee with it. No points in the game yet for him. On the wing, James shoots over Dinwiddie. And LeBron gets it to go with the assist by McGee. Oh, this is the confidence that James has. He knows he can take and make this shot when given the chance. Pass to Harris. 
Back to Dinwiddie. That shot off. Davis with some nice deep. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. On the wing, Green. Guarded by Harris. They kick it out to Green. Just five to shoot. Bradley, no one around him. Offensive rebound. Can't get anything to fall. But it hasn't gotten him down. I mean, he's still gunning. I guess he's still trying to contribute. Dinwiddie attacking, and he comes up with the deuce. And he's got great length for a point guard, and it served him well on that play. And the 6'6 point guard, Spencer Dinwiddie, second-round pick of the Detroit Pistons in 2014. You know, Greg, they might have wished they held on to him. One of the most improved players in our league. Last season, he signed that four-year, $48 million extension the from the Nets, the rewarding One his stop. growth. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. LeBron passes to Green. McGee with it. Guarded by Harris. Levert against Bradley. Here's Davis. Hits the difficult fadeaway jumper. Davis has got four this quarter. Nice pass here to set that basket up. Now here's Dinwiddie. Nine points in the game so far. Green against Harris. Five to shoot. Launches it. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Bradley kicks to LeBron. Outside Green. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. James has got assist number eight here in this one already. Brooklyn's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. LeBron against Dinwiddie. Harris outside. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on JaVale McGee. Yeah, good job to take it right at him. The Nets have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit 8 of 10. Shooting 2. First one falls for him. drops them both. L.A.'s gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. James finds Bradley. Inside. Davis. Rebound. Brooklyn. Jordan's got eight rebounds in this game. Pass to Levert. Back to Dinwiddie. Six to shoot, and the powerful one-handed slam. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. Yeah, Kevin, this is why they go to him. When the game is tight, he ups his intensity level. Levert against Bradley. Outside Jordan. Dinwiddie outside. And there's the call on James. That is his first foul of the game. Well, he bailed him out with that one. A shot clock was low. You got to just play straight up D. That is not the time to take a foul. The Nets making a switch here. Luwawu's checked in. 
Here's Luwawu. He's got eight. Hobs it up for Jordan. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Timeout called the Lakers. They're trying to stem the tide here. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup and, and revisit their strategy at the defensive end. And Los Angeles with some changes. Caldwell Pope comes in for Green. Ajan Rondo subbed in for James. Bradley deciding where to go with it. Rondo bounce pass. Davis the pass to Caldwell Pope. Five on the clock. Back to Davis. A fader. And the Lakers with another miss. Brooklyn leading by four. Harris right side. The pass to Dinwiddie. Yeah, that, that's got them over the limit with a lot of time still left. They're going to have to tone it down, or they may end up giving up a lot of free throws here. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. He was extremely sharp at the free throw line in their last outing. Shooting two. throw drops for Dinwiddie we're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half and both free throws good for Dinwiddie and the Lakers have possession loads it up for Davis oh he's got a roll in this quarter taking it on himself to guide their offense and so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for Brooklyn. They lead by four. Pass to Harris. And it's Jordan to top the key. Shot clock at five. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Lakers have gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. The shot's good from McGee. This is where McGee's coaches and teammates want him to shoot from. They know he can do damage in there with his hops. Pass to Luwawu. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Dinwiddie outside. Had another make to his scoring column. His fifth basket of the game. Now shooting 5 of 11. Uh, they lost their edge on D here in the second half. I mean, far too passive. They're not dictating the pace anymore. Bradley against Harris. And a wide open look for Rondo. Second shot opportunity. Uh, at this point of his career, McGee knows who he is. A hustler. An energy guy who uses his athleticism to his advantage. The Lakers have gone 7 of 9 from the free throw line tonight. That's good from McGee. Morris is checked in for the Lakers. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Avery Bradley. And then for Brooklyn, Torian Prince comes in for Wilson Chandler. And it's Lavert in for Joe Harris. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Here is McGee. Caldwell Pope outside. No good on the triple. Nets leading by five. Dinwiddie. Kicks to Levert, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. 
And playing with the lead, you can see they're making a much more concerted effort to work the ball inside here in the second half. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. And some changes here for the Lakers. Davis has checked in for JaVale McGee. And it's Avery Bradley in for Markeith Morris. Lakers trail by eight. A three ball. Rondo's shot is off. Brooklyn's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. To the paint. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Bradley dishes to Rondo. Kicks to Caldwell Pope. Rondo against Dinwiddie. Outside Bradley. Caldwell Poe passes to Kuzma. Four on the clock. And there's the foul. And it's on Dorian Prince. That's his first foul. James checked in for Los Angeles. Side, Davis and there's the foul and it's on Dorian Prince that'll be his second foul of the game Harris LaVert's checked in for DeAndre Jordan outside Davis LeBron outside six on the shot clock here's Rondo and he connects with the jumper. Rondo's got his second basket. Rondo, not one of those guys that is a volume shooter, picky with the shot selection, but he does have a sense of when to shoot it. Allen outside. Here's Levert. Allen kicks to Levert. Right wing, here's Chioza. And again, no good by Brooklyn. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. James outside. Caldwell Pope outside. Good, and the assist goes to James. And now just a three-point Nets lead. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Prince outside. Here's Chioza. He's covered by Rondo. And Rondo sends it back. Well, you forget sometimes how much of an impact Rondo can have defensively there, showing off some superb vertical as he goes up for the block. He feeds it to LeBron. Shoots over LeVert. The shot by Rondo is no good. I don't know if it's been the main factor. But this off night has definitely been one factor here. Step back shot. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Levert's got five points in the quarter. And, and that's a great piece of work to get to the hoop there. Just tore the D to shreds. We've got 33 seconds left in the third quarter. Knocks it loose. Rondo passes to Caldwell Pope. Well, you really like seeing Caldwell Pope earning these calls on his shot. I mean, it, it, it makes him that much more difficult to guard. First trip to the line for him here. And he was dialed in at the line a season ago, 87% from the line. And that one misses. This has uh, become a, a theme for these guys. Way too many missed chances at the line. And the Lakers making a change here. Morris has checked in. He hits the second from the line. And Caldwell Pope is a guy you cannot leave open at any time. He, uh, just a very good shooter from any spot on the floor. 
Levert against Caldwell Pope. Now here's Levert. D right on him. This one for three. No good on that one. And we've watched three so far in this one. Nets out in front. They lead by four. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. This is how you quarterback an offense. He sees and anticipates what the defense is doing. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. On the court for the Nets, getting the fourth quarter going. They've got Jared Allen. Prince out there with Luawu. Then there's Karis LeVert. And it's Chioza in at the point. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. Kuzma outside. Back to Ronda. He kicks to James. Passes it to Caldwell Pope. Here's Kuzma. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Luwawu inside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And he makes the first. And so he makes both from the line. Lakers trail by eight. LeBron James on the wing. Shoots it. Rondo kicks to Caldwell Pope. Lakers working the ball around now. Shot clock at six. James dishes to Caldwell Pope. From outside, off the mark. Brooklyn leading by eight. Here's Luwum. Now the pass to Chioza. Lavert with it. Pass to Allen. Prince outside. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. It's not easy to keep him from converting those. I mean, the D has to be airtight. And there's the foul. And it's on Dorian Prince. That's his third foul of the game. Prince against Kuzma. LeBron outside. Here's Rondo. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. And that's now seven points for Rajon Rondo. And every now and then, Rondo will surprise you with the occasional triple. Showing it off there with range. Here's Luwawu. And again, no good by Brooklyn. And now the fast break, LeBron with the ball. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. 
And James loves torching defenders with his pull-up jumper. Play up on him, he goes by you. Play off, he'll pull up. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. And some great moments for Rajon Rondo helped Boston to a title back in 2008. And as we know, he's a four-time All-Star. Yeah, one of the most honorary, toughest, and smartest players in the league. He devours films. I mean, he makes his son watch film. You, you see that his four-year-old son is watching film with him. What's going on, man? But he's made it clear. Once his playing days are done, he wants to be an NBA coach. And Brooklyn making a change here. Dinwiddie's checked in. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Kenny Atkinson had some words for his team during the break. He said, this is what we play for, fellas. Let's knock them on their heels right out of the timeout. Show them how much you want it. Go get it. He really is fired up about this game, Kevin. Morris. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. They came close there to tying it up. That was a really important possession, especially at this stage of the game. Painful miss. Back to Levert. He dishes it to Dinwiddie. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. 17 points for Spencer Dinwiddie. He's really turned it around here in the second half. I mean, his offense has returned. Rondo passes to Kuzma. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Yeah, yeah. And, and at Utah, Kyle Kuzma restricted to more of a traditional power four role. Now, the wide open NBA style has unleashed his game. And Chris, really, a combo forward game for Kuzma. He's comfortable playing small forward as well. well. Well, defensively, I think he's better on the wing. I mean, think about this. In high school, he was only 5'9 as a freshman. Man, did he grow. He has experience on the perimeter. Free throw good, Kuzma. Yeah, and for being the 27th pick in the 2017 draft, uh, Kuzma has made his mark early already surpassed expectations looking at who's out there now for the Nets Chandler comes in for Torian Prince and Harris subbed in for Levert he's off on the second and positionless basketball all the rage and Kyle Kuzma really fits that mold is he a three is he a four I don't know but he gets buckets down to five on the shot clock. The tray. Dinwiddie's shot is off. But still, eventually, you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down again. Outside Rondo. Over Chandler. And again, no good by the Lakers. And very light-footed is Kuzma. Moves well for his side. You know, kind of a tweener in terms of build, but he has the ability to light up that scoreboard, something every team can use. Oh, why dunk you very much? <laughs> he, can, he can really fly, and you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. Los Angeles calls timeout. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, and, and sometimes, Greg, it's the most subtle moves that make the biggest difference. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Markeith Morris. And here is Los Angeles now. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Here's LeBron. Oh, that was a strong dunk. That's how you go home. And James simply one of the best dunkers in NBA history, I have to say. Highly creative in how he throws it down. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. No doubt for me, the offense looks better in the second half. They've been able to dial down those turnovers, and that's been a huge help. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for Los Angeles. James finds Kuzma. Here's Davis. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It goes on Spencer Dinwiddie. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. That free throw, no good. Okay. 
And the second free throw, good. Yeah, being down two points instead of one, thanks to the free throw miss, makes getting a stop here absolutely critical. And it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Chandler outside. Back to Dinwiddie. Just five on the clock. Caldwell Pope brings the double team, and we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Brooklyn with the ball. Chandler the pass to Luau. Now here's Dinwiddie. James covering. Pulls up. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Outside Rondo, pass to Davis. Back to Rondo to take the lead. Hits the three-point bomb. Rondo's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the Lakers. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. Here's Harris. Rebound the Lakers. Davis has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. They get the rebound. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. I uh, love the fire Kuzma plays with, especially inside where he dares defenders to foul. And the first one at the line is good. Danny Green, he's checked in for the Lakers. Jordan, he's checked in for the Nets. And both free throws good for Kuzma. Nets trail by three. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Can they get it? Dinwiddie's shot is off. For Los Angeles, they've gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. And finished off by Davis. Yeah, Rondo just knows how to wheel and deal. Has that exceptional feel for when one of his guys is open. Luwaru Cabrero kicks to Jordan. Harris outside. Just five to shoot. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Shooting two. First one drops. And some changes here for the Lakers. LeBron comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And Bradley's subbed in for Rajon Rondo. And the Nets also making a change. Levert's checked in. Good on both. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 17-6 run. Here's LeBron, and James throws it down. James is effective at getting near the basket. Always look to dunk it home. Now, Dinwiddie passes to LeVert. Here's the three. But they get it back. No good from Jordan. Lakers leading by five. Over in the corner, Caldwell Pope. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. And they've done some nice work as we've come down the stretch here in the final quarter. Uh, in perfect timing, uh, with a small lead, uh, they're doing all they can to protect it. Three-pointer, Levert. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. 
Dinwiddie's got six assists here tonight. The Lakers have gone seven of 13 from the field here in the fourth. Bradley against Dinwiddie. Bradley kicks to Caldwell Pope. LeBron up top. Five on the clock. Fades away. And the Lakers check on two more. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. And so it's Dinwiddie with it. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Davis with the double team. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Brooklyn with the ball. Chandler dishes to Dinwiddie. Bradley on the double team. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. It's the Nets now. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Outside Bradley. Kicks it to Caldwell Pope. Dishes it to LeBron. Clock at four. From the arc. Bradley can't get it to go. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for the night. Los Angeles leading by six. And Dinwiddie over to help. Outside for Davis. Outside Bradley. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Oats it up for Davis. Up high to stop the alley. -oop. That's how you play point forward. LeBron is one of the best ever at. Nets trail by eight. Timeout called the Nets. And with the fourth quarter push coming up here, the coach going over the game plan and these players rehydrating themselves with Gatorade, recharging their bodies, refocusing their minds, and getting that strategy down to close out the game. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Anthony Davis. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. Jordan the pass to Harris. Back to Dinwiddie. Puts up a three. Connects from three-point range. Dinwiddie's got 14 points here in the second half. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Timeout called the Lakers. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. You know, that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. Here's Bradley. There's the pass to LeBron. And he uses the glass on the layup. James has got 19 points. There's almost no stopping LeBron if he's allowed to get inside. Too strong, too skilled. In the corner, it's Dinwiddie. Lobs it up for Jordan. Harris inside, guarded by Green. 
Down to five on the shot clock. Levert against Caldwell Pope. And it's Levert missing. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Well, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Tipped away. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And the Nets with possession here. Nets trail by seven. And they call an illegal screen here. Now beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Uh, yeah, even a slight movement is going to catch a ref's eye. I mean, they're trained to focus on that. LeBron outside. And he's good on the three ball. LeBron's got the lead up to 10 now for Los Angeles. And for Brooklyn, their shooting has been dreadful lately, around 28% here in the fourth. Levert against Caldwell Pope. And Davis sends it back. Guys, I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid win for the Lakers. Look at the number of assists. You know, they didn't get stuck in those one-on-one -on -one situations, and they got the ball to the guys with the best matchups. Easy drives, open jumpers, and great ball movement. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And we watched them all night long. No one could really stop them. Just another excellent game it was for Davis. And with the way he came out energized on the defensive end in particular, getting a hand on a lot of shots, that really got them rolling. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Bangs home the trifecta. They're in good position here to ride it out. Uh, certainly. If they just play smart, this game's over. A shot by LeBron. No good. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. And the Nets, another three. And they go to the intentional foul. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And the second of two is good. That makes it a seven-point lead. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. They're trailing by seven. 17 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? And I don't think they'll be able to climb out of this hole. I'm really curious to see what their strategy is at this point. You can't afford any wasted possessions. Brooklyn with the ball. They trail by seven. It counts. Great work right there on the inbounds play. Getting the bucket before the D has time to react. And so they choose to intentionally foul.
So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. The agility, the instincts, the power. I mean, James remains a dominant figure on both ends of the floor. The second one is good. Hitting both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Okay, are those free throws helping them to make the lead even safer? Stolen by Caldwell Pope. And so the Lakers take the win. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the, the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and, and to send these fans home happy. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Hey, LeBron, congrats on the win. What do you think made the difference tonight? Uh, defense. We made our mark defensively. We understand that for the long term, we have to defend at a high level. We've been doing it. It does start at that end, LeBron. Congrats again. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.